man a few words? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You're pissed off, mate. I know, I can tell, mate. I'm going to spread out as well like you, mate. Spread eagle. Let's get it, mate. T posing. Let the, let the nuts breathe. We're rolling. Hello and welcome. I'm here with Super. Super Trooper. You listen to any ABBA? Uh, no. You don't know what ABBA is? Alvaro? ABBA. ABBA? ABBA. Yeah. Yeah, ABBA. Ah, okay. Because I have, I'm just hearing up in the Spanish. Super trooper lights are gonna find you shining. Da, da, da. That's your song, mate. Really? I think I, so. Yeah. I, I didn't hear. Well, listen, it's lovely to speak with you, mate. You've obviously unfortunately lost today. You're quite confident. You're quite a confident figure in general. You, you've said some quite outrageous things this year. A lot of people go, oh, how is he saying that? That's so, but I get it. You know, you've got to say these things. You've got to get your, you've got to get your name out there. You've got to make people pay attention. I get it. And I'm sure that you believe it as well. It's not just a thing. Um, my dad's also, my dad's got, he's a paranoid schizophrenic and he says things like that all the time as well. I mean, I'm, I don't regret what he said. I, I truly believe it. That's good, mate. I mean, like my dad, one day he woke up and he said that one of the, uh, you know, that those Egyptian, Carcophagus, carcophaguses, you know, they, the thing that they bury the Egyptians in, the big tombs. You know what I'm talking about? Nothing. Right, what's a better example? Maybe I can tell you. <laughs> you know, like paintings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like paintings in like museums. My dad woke up one day and he said that a painting from the London Museum told him that he needed to travel in because he needed to speak with the painting. And then he did it. Have you ever done anything like that? I mean, maybe he, he was happy. I think he probably was happy, yeah. That's the most important thing in life. I like that. That's a good answer. That's wonderful. That's really quite good. So you've said you said you're better than Deft this year, which is, you know, who really cares anymore? I mean, Deft's about, what, he's like 45 years old, I think he turns this year. Who else would you say that you're better than currently? Is there anyone else out there that you'd say? That I believe I'm better? Yeah. I mean... Fact, let's do a new segment on the show. I mean, every player that Super thinks he's better than. Can you name every player that you think you're better than? I mean, now I'm going with a new mentality. I will prove it, so there's no chance. Okay. You can let the gameplay do the talking. Exactly. You had a pretty decent series today, though, I think. You know, game one and two, you sort of came out quite raring. The MF was pretty dangerous today. Um, but it didn't feel like you were able to quite, at certain points, not able to piece it fully together, quite find the rhythm in the series. What, what do you owe that down to? What, what was the issue today? I think we didn't fight uh, together. There is no 5v5. I think if you count the 5v5s in general, I think we have like a 80% win rate. So it's what, it's what we like. That's interesting. I've heard a lot about the Madrid boot camps. I mean, there's been a lot, I've spoken to Merwin about it, Alvaro. They speak about it in a way that I don't really want to talk about how they talk about it. It's sort of, they talk about, the, you know, the sweltering heat, young men just sweating, working, grinding together. What, what can you tell me about what the Madrid boot camp did for you guys and how it improved you guys as a team? In, when you get 50 degrees, your frozen chest got better. I don't know if you understand. No, I don't understand. When we go to officials, we have uh, the chest completely freeze. So with the 50 degrees in Spain. Why does it freeze? Why it freeze? I don't know. But it's just uh, our hands didn't work because we are uh, freezing. You were freezing today? Not today. I think uh, as a team we freeze. This is like when, do you remember Arsenal fan TV when Ty said it was raining on the pitch? This is, you won't get that reference because it's, it's, it's... I mean, I think it's, what do you mean it's in football? The yeah. You like football? Yeah, I like football. What position do you play? I play the, it's, I don't know in English, but uh, back, uh, right. Right back? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. In Spanish it's different. It's not right, but... <laughs> so you play like a Hector Bellerin role? Like what? Hector Bellerin? Uh, he's not left. I don't remember. I don't he's, know. He's right back. I, I think this guy died for me 20 years ago. Who's your favorite player? The goat. Uh, be very careful now. Who's the goat? I don't know. You don't have clear who is the goat. Who's the goat of football? I know for me. Yeah, I know that you I know. Let, I, will let I know that you know for you. Yeah, no, I would like maybe, to know. Maybe you, maybe you don't know. No. So you really need to think. No, 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 no. Let's, 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 all right, come on, let's, let's calm down. Let's explain this to you. I know that you know, but I don't know what you know. And this is an interview, so you need to tell me what you know. Who do you think is the goal? 
Who do I think is a goat? Uh, Edgar Davids. What about you? Mm. It's a good question, no? I think. Maybe Pique. You think Gerard Pique is the goat? Yeah, I think he did pretty well. He won everything. And who do you think is the best League of Legends player ever? Who won everything? No, just who is you, who do you, who's your go in league? In League of Legends, depend. I there is two for me. Yeah. One in general that I respect, but it's not like I, I love it. But it's Faker. Yeah. And the other one is Piper. Okay. It's just I'd love to just wade in the waters of your mind just for a moment. I feel like it's, there's a lot going up on up there. It's very confusing. You, you wanted to me say myself? No. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> What's a, can you tell me a funny story from your life? I mean, I spent five hours traveling one day <laughs> to spend two more days practicing to lose in Munich. Is that a funny story from your life? Yes. I feel like you might be clinically insane. I mean... I get sort of Spanish Joker vibes from you. Do you think someone can be the best, being normal? No. That's right. Because when I interviewed El Yoyo last year, he sort of was telling me, it's quite a funny interview, because he told me he loves the film Whiplash. Have you seen that film? Which one? Whiplash. Yes. Do you like that film as well? It's going to the limit, but it's, yeah. it's pretty... It's, because he was telling me he loves that film because he sees himself in that film. And when he said that, I was like, that's not really the point. You're not meant to see yourself in the film. That's quite bad. Do you have a similar philosophy in terms of work ethic and whatnot? Because mm. the two of you are quite close. I mean, we have a lot of things in common, but I think I really like a lot of mentalities in general from sports, but I think you don't have you can't copy mentality. I think you need to create your, your one for yourself that adapt to you. Because you said earlier that you've got a new mentality. And is that not just the male version of when women dye their hair a different color? <laughs> mm, I don't believe. I think it's just we imagine we born again. It's more similar. I'm going, to have to, I'm going to have to ask you what you mean by that. When you, what do you mean by you're born again? Uh, imagine uh, old Mad Lions Koi. They got yeah. everyone killed and we <laughs> sign a new team. Is that it being reborn again? Yes, I think it's, it's a good example. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, what kind of emotions did you feel when you, you stole Kazi's job? I mean... He already knew it from the screams. <laughs> and obviously he's made some comments recently about how he likes to go partying and stuff like that. How did you feel when you saw that? I mean, I didn't party. I said I will party when I win. I no, won. He was saying he was partying though. How did you feel seeing that? I respect. I think the most important thing is to be happy. He was happy and he won. So maybe it's thanks to go party. Are you, are you a party man? No. I only party when I win. And even if I win, I don't. I'm going to break down. So logically, that sentence is, I only party when I win, but even when I win, I don't party. Can you, how does that make sense? Just break that down for me. Maybe I win because I don't party, so why I win this <laughs> Yeah, this is like, in like Alice in Wonderland, I've come to a place and you're like giving me riddles. Alice in Borderland, you say? Alice in Wonderland. I didn't see. Ah, okay, I saw. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Do you imagine what happened if we win today? Did I imagine what would happen if you won today? I guess we will never know. You've sort of done the reverse Kanye West there, haven't you? No. You know, remember the famous Kanye West thing where he says, ah. he accepts the award and he says, 
A lot of people were wondering what I would say if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Yes. But you didn't win. I did the reverse. Do you like the uh, DRX 2022? Yeah. Me too. I think that's a good end to the interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, you were a weird bastard, mate. You are a weird.